April I was unemployed. Um, I did a little bit of backsliding, let me be real. And, <laughs> and it just, it was a tough time for me. But he laid this on my heart as a message for those who are, who already went through the, those walking up to the altar, saying wrong and wrong, and you really were saved, but you got caught up. It happens. <clears throat> but God has a way out of the scandal. Right down to it so we can get on the program. It's called I've Been There and I'm Never Going Back. Amen. Let that marinate. I've been there and I'm never going back. Amen. One thing I've learned and I'm longing to share the enemy wants to kill you and me, and he really doesn't care. It doesn't matter where I worship, what my background is, or how long I've been saved. He's trying every approach possible trying to bring as much company with him to his eternal grave through distraction, lusts, laziness, and fear, throwing out every trick to make you stumble and not draw me to the only wise God our Savior and keep our relationship tight with him. If the devil can just loosen you up, kind of take your eyes off focus of Jesus, get you to live in the moment thinking you have everything under control, Next thing you know, you're farther away from God and no longer does God's presence reside totally in your soul. You may feel him here a little bit there, but you move so far away and suddenly his presence that you're doing things, from his presence that you're doing things that you wouldn't have even dared. I can speak on it and I know it's true. I've been there and felt its effects, fell in the tracks designed for people like me and you. People who know God, who've been saved by his grace. The enemy knows he can't touch you or make you lose your place in the kingdom of heaven because you believe in the Messiah who died and rose for you. So he wants to stop the plans that God has for you here on earth. So the work of God here, you can't do. Do the work God has called you to. Teach, lead, help, and save. Those who don't know Christ and can't escape the fire of the grave. I'm a witness and a survivor. The enemy's been trying to take me out, trying to make Jesus a liar. Make it seem like making me a child of God was a waste of time. Because I'm disobedient, ungrateful, and not letting his light shine. Through me for others to see and know the God of all matters. But instead, I don't live his example and let my witness for him shatter. However, one day I made a choice and knew that this would end all chatter between my flesh and the devil, of which neither one of them flattered. My spirit and who God has called for me to be. I put my will down and ask the Lord again to forgive me. It's a shame how we all get caught up and lose touch with the one who made us possible. But he never stopped showing me his love and letting me know that he was available. Though I received salvation and lived the life as I was brought up in it, I still fell, stumbled, tripped, slipped, and dipped. Oh, but the blood of Jesus. Almighty. of love, mercy, forgiveness, and his plans for me to glorify his kingdom, go higher in him, and make the devil flee. It's a miracle that a God so marvelous can still want you, even though you're undeserving and with all that you put him through. But I tell you, there's nothing too hard for God. Nothing that he doesn't know about. The very things that you're doing in the dark, and even your own self-inflicted season of drought are not hid from him, and as a matter of fact, he has a way out prepared for you so that you never go back. To a backsliding life of sin, iniquity, and shame, he told me all I had to do was just to call out his name. Yeah. Jesus. 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 Please save me. I know I've been saved before, but I need your help, please. I'm caught up and don't know how I got here. I'm tired of living the way I've been, tired of shedding tears, because I know you're displeased and know I'm not right. Take this sin away, God. Please help me not to fight the Holy Ghost, your Holy Word, and your will for my life. I surrender and give it all to you. No more misery and strife. Sink, I will no more. Sliding, I won't go forward. Lost, I am without you. Please hear me say you do. I want that feeling back. Your presence, that's it. From you, let me never split. 
Let neither life, nor death, nor man, nor woman, desire, or any such thing come between the God that I love. J-E-S-E-S. -S. Affections now set on the things above. I'm a witness and a survivor. No more a fornicator, idolater, or a liar. Anybody hear me? <laughs> Speaking truth, trying to help others stay away, get away, live today to not experience such sorrow and pain. Living with God and staying away from things that put a strain on you and your Creator's relationship. Because I tell you that there's nothing from it that you will gain besides a life of shame, defeat, and misery. It's no fun and it ain't worth it. If it ain't God's way, take it from me. So, I not only know, but I believe you. So today for you, which way will it be? Let go of everything that is hindering you. And let God, because he knows what's best for you. What are you holding on to? I advise you to give it up, turn it loose, and watch God make you brand new. This was written because of the love I have for you, the love that he has for you. And yes, because I've been there, and I'm never going back. Amen. Amen.